What's going on, Ham Radio Nation? Look, this is K2RCL Russell. I'm coming to you today with part two in the Pi Star for under $50 or DMR Hotspot for under $50 video. Now, if you hadn't watched that first video, I want you to go ahead and pop up and watch this first video where I show you how to actually build the Pi Star. Uh, and now in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you in and show you where to go to get the operating software and how to flash it onto the micro SD card. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So first place that you want to go is pystar.uk. Now this website worked for me to get the software that I needed. And uh, we're going to come up on the home screen here and we're going to come down here to downloads and we're going to click on download pystar. Now, once this opens up, there's multiple zip files up here that you can download. Uh, it really just depends on what type of Pi Star you have. So for us, we are doing a Raspberry Pi. That's going to be the second one from the bottom, Pi Star RPI version 4.1.4, 4, 08 February 2021. Now, I'm sure that the date and the version will change over time. So just keep that in mind. We're looking for the RPI for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we're going to click on that and actually download that file. Now, it's going to take a minute or two to download. And uh, while it's downloading, I'm going to pop you over here to Belina Etcher. Now, this is going to be the software that you want to download and install that will allow you to flash this image that we're downloading down here onto a micro SD card. So... You want to click on here and download for Windows, and both of them are downloading. So I'm going to let both of those download onto the computer here, and then we'll jump back into the video, and I'll show you how to go through the next few steps. All right, guys, so both of these have finished downloading now. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop down, and we're going to come over to our download folder. Uh, I'm going to right-click on this PyStar RPI version 4. And I'm just going to drop down here and hit extract all. Now it's going to ask me where, and I'm just going to put it right here in the download folder so it'll be easy to find. Uh, we're going to let that run through. Now while it's running through, I'm just going to go ahead and click over here on the Belina Elcher, Etcher setup. Uh, this is, the, like I said, the software program we're going to use to flash that onto the SD card. It's going to come up, ask you, you're going to run it. Um, you've got to agree up oh, that file opened. We don't need it. Here we go. So it's going to ask you for the license agreement and to agree, you click, I agree. And then it starts going through the installation process. Now, once it comes up, you're going to see that you now have this window pop up and we've got a couple of options. We can clone from a drive flash from URL or flash from file. We're going to flash from a file. And we're going to go back into our downloads folder. And we need to open up this extracted PyStar folder. Once we open it, it's only going to give us one of the two files that are in here. And it's going to be a disk image file. So we're going to select it, hit open. We're now going to go in and select our target. Now, this is where we need to put a micro SD card into our SD card reader. All right, now we've got that in, so we're going to select it. Hit select. Now we're just going to simply click flash. Now it's going to want to know if we want to make changes to this device, and yes, we do. Now it's going to start running. Now what it's doing here is it's actually putting the PyStar image onto that drive. Uh, this little pop-up comes up telling us to insert a disk. We're just going to simply close it and go right back over here. We're flashing that card. So we're going to let that set and run. It'll get to 100%. Once it reaches 100%, it's going to run through and verify. Once it finishes verifying, we'll be ready to take it out of the computer and pop it into our DMR hotspot. All right, guys. So we've just about hit 100% here. Once it reaches that 100% mark, like I said, it's going to go back and it's going to start verifying. Excuse me, it's validating. So once it finishes validating, we'll be ready to pop that card out and drop it into the DMR hotspot. All right, guys, so there we are. It is finishing up now, and uh, that gives us our basic file structure. It tells us that it's complete. 
gives us the option to flash another one and all that good stuff, but we're really not interested in doing another one because we've got our first card done. So we're going to close this out. Now we're going to drop over and we're going to pull that SD card and put it into the DMR hotspot. All right, guys. So I have put the SD card into the slot on the side of our DMR hotspot here, and we've powered it up. And that's about as far as we're going to get right now because it's going to take it a little bit of time, probably three or four minutes to load up and get everything up and going. So what I want you to do is not panic because you're not going to see anything on the display screen here until we actually get into the configuration. Uh, so we're going to give that the opportunity to get booted up and get everything loaded and situated. And I want you to stick with us because we're going to be coming to you with another video that explains how to actually get in and do the Wi-Fi settings and then get into the actual hotspot itself and do the configuration that's needed to get it up and going and get your DMR hotspot operational. Guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, tick that bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Give us a thumbs up, drop comments or questions down below, and as always, thank you for watching.